I'm joined by Dean Clark and Adam Hills from the Australian Physical Disability Team. How are you, boys? Yeah, not bad. Still good, good. thanks. Now, Dino, you're just telling me you're still in Australia, but you're flying out today, and you take on, I think, England on Sunday. Yes, I think it's Sunday that we we take on there our first um, game, so it'll be tough. It will. And Adam, I was just reading about you, mate. You're a bit of a legend in the sport, and you're a rugby league World Cup ambassador to start with. Well, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got involved in PDRL about 2017. I didn't even know that there was a disability rugby league competition. You know, I played when I was a kid, but I was born without a right foot. So I got to about 13 or 14 and I couldn't really keep up with the other kids. Yep. And, you know, being a Rabbitohs fan, uh, when I found out there was a Rabbitohs disability team, I was like, well, where do I sign up? So I kind of called them up and uh, they said, well, you live in London. It's going to be tricky to commute to Redfern. Mm. But as it happened, Warrington was starting up their own team. And so, yeah, I've been playing disability rugby league ever since. Awesome. And so you helped us actually establish a PDRL in Britain. And, you know, and yeah, that's so just gone from I there. I contacted Warrington and said, what can I do to help? And they said, well, you know, you've got a pretty big voice over here. All we need you to do is shout about it. Um, and then I kind of worked with the Warrington Walls Foundation to set up the team and publicise it. And then, you know, then we got Leeds, we got Wakefield, Castleford and... I remember saying in an interview at the time, the the, the ideal goal would be a, a, a PDRL World Cup. Mm. And I thought I said, kind of said it as a joke, but it's now actually happened. Yeah. Mate, and you've got a bit of a good CV, mate. You I mean, you host the last leg and, and you're on Channel 4, or the coverage of the Super League. So you've got a bit going on in the media. <laughs> yeah, it's all, I mean, it's, it's kind of all taken off. I mean, my love of rugby league, I mean, as you well know, rugby league leads to so many other opportunities. Mm. So just from me playing this, this sport, suddenly, I mean, I was already hosting the, the, the TV show in England, but then they said, well, Channel 4 bought the rights to rugby league and the Super League and said, well, do you want to host it? Yep. And so I'm living my boyhood dream. I mean, I'm currently wearing the green and gold. I'm about to fly to a World Cup. Yep. In a country where I'm the host of Channel 4's Rugby League coverage, it's ridiculous. That's unbelievable. So just a, how did you become a Rabbitoh supporter, mate? Did you grow up in the area? No, so I grew up in the Sutherland Shire, but my dad grew up in Maroubra. His dad grew up in the Rocks. Like, my grandfather, who's still alive, by the way, 104 years old. Wow. Um, What's his name, man? His name's Chris, Chris Hills. Yep. He grew up under the Harbour Bridge. He remembers watching them put the last stone in the Harbour Bridge when they yeah. were building it. He must have been about eight. He then went on to work at Holden's. He was a foreman, and one of the people that um, he was the boss for was a guy called John Sattler. <laughs> so my granddad worked alongside John Sattler. Um, you know, he was a Rabbitohs supporter through and through, so was my dad. So when I was three days old, my dad brought a red and green toy rabbit into the hospital. And even though we lived in the Shire, I was I was like the only rabbit supporter <laughs> in the Gee, Shire. Wow. And so, so I, would, I would even go so far to say, I reckon I've probably got a training singlet with your autograph on it. Yeah, well, there you go, eh? <laughs> you got, you're showing a bit of your age there, remembering me. <laughs> oh, and you know, you bloke, you're sitting there with Dino. You're you're a rabbit too, mate. You you know, you I'm close to your family. I know your brother recently just passed away, and you know, your mum and dad were were mad rabbitos too. Of course, mate. Yeah, I grew up in Botany, played for Botany all my life, and um, never played against them. Um, and now we've got the green and gold back on, so it's all good. Unreal. And so what were you saying? So you've gotten together there at, at Cabramatta and you're going to fly out. It's a it's a fairly big squad, you know. It's a 40, Is it 40-man squad? So you've got a bit of depth no, no. there. What is it, 20? It's a 20-man oh. playing squad, but then there's probably another 10 people 10, yeah. coming with us, and, yeah. and a lot of whom have never been outside the country before. Unbelievable. So... Coach has basically said to us to approach the flight as if it's our first game. Yeah. And if we get through at the other end and we're all happy, then that's a win. That's unreal. So, and not a lot of people that know this. So, you're going to be Australia, England, New Zealand, and Wales. So, it'll be a, a nice little competition for you to take part in. Yeah. So, we've got England first up on, yep. on Sunday. And then two days later, New Zealand. Three days after that, Wales. Oh. And then hopefully the final. Uh, at the Halliwell Jones Stadium, and it's after the France Samoa game, so we should get mm. quite a decent crowd there. Awesome! And you'll, there's a few Rabbitohs that are in the team with you guys. 
Yeah, there's six of us, six of us Rabbitohs. Yeah. So it's a good mix. There's a whole bunch of Queenslanders, a whole bunch of New yeah. South Welshmen. I mean, none of whom had kind of met each other no. until Sunday. No. <laughs> yeah. We played against each other, but we'd never met. You know? Yeah. Awesome. So we, but we all bonded, you know, as soon as you put the green and gold on, you're all on the same side. That's so good, boys. And are you going to have any plans to maybe catch up a, a kangaroo's side, have a look at Cameron Murray, Terrell Mitt, and big stretch Campbell Graham over there? I mean, I'd, I'd hope so. I know yeah. we're saying we're staying in the same city as the PNG side. Yep. yep. Yeah. But I'm not sure if we'll get to see any of the kangaroos. They're be... in Manchester. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Different city. I'm um, I'm catching up. Hopefully, catch up with an old uh, Botany and South Sydney bloke, Steve Sims. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good if you can. Yeah, he's my old yeah. coach at Botany, mate. He's a yeah, he's my a, old coach. Yeah. yeah, and he was at the Rabbitohs too. He's a he's a great football mind, Steve. And I think he's a he did a bit of work calling the footy too over the over the years. Uh, Adam too, Steve Sims. Yeah, right. There's there's so many, and then what's amazing being over in the UK is there's so many Australian names that just pop up everywhere. Even being at Warrington, mm. you know, you walk down the hallways of Warrington, and there's like. You know, Phil Blake, Roy Asatazi mm. played there, Matt, Matt King, Jason Clark, of course. Yep. So there's a real, you know, the, the rugby league family stretches right across the world. Oh, that's awesome. I've played over there and we, we had a great time, me and Darren Brown. So, um, yeah, it'll be good if you just catch cross paths with some of the players, get a couple of photos, send them through. We'll share them across our socials. Yep. Yeah, All that'd right. be great. And just, be, right. yeah. And yep. Adam, just before I let you go, so the Rabbitohs this year, we. We fell over at the in the in the prelim again, but um, yeah. it was a it was a decent season from what happened to us during the year, losing Latrell and a few issues that happened. I think so. I mean, you don't want to be a one man team, but he is such a massive force that it, you know a full season of a fully fit Latrell is a great thing for the Rabbitohs. But I thought what was really interesting was just watching the way his attitude changed when he came back from that eight weeks. Hmm. I, it wasn't just physical, it was mental. And it felt like he took on a, a bigger responsibility in the team. And I know there was a couple of games there that he captained. And I think when you captain, you suddenly realise what it means to lead your team. So, yep. yeah, I, I, yes, it would have been great to get to the grand final again. But I, I think it I think it all goes well. Like, I'm, you know, our, Andrew Denton has a quote that he remembers when he remembers watching South. In, he remembers the day when you'd watch the Rabbitohs live at the game. And if they won, he was too scared to watch the replay in case they found a way to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Just, yeah. You know, to be supporting a side that's regularly in the top four, that's mm. making it to the prelim year after year, that's, that's you know, that's that's a great sign. I'm just proud to be a Rabbitoh supporter again. Oh, it is. It's it's from where we've been to where we are now. It, it is a great story. As me dog barks, Gucci, be quiet. I've got the missus texting me and the dog barking, so I will let you go, boys. But Adam, it'll be good to catch up with you for uh, maybe get you on camera and you too, Dino, when you get back. If you're back in town, we'll we'll do a proper interview for our YouTube channel. Thanks, mate. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll have a World Cup with us. Yeah. Awesome, mate. Good luck, boys. Thanks, Dave. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, Dave. Bye. Bye, mate.